Hey everybody, it's day 468 on my journey to 2000 where I play a game of chess every day, put it on YouTube for folks to watch, and I track my progress on chess.com. We are headed into the fallish months here. Um, might not be, it might not feel that way outside here in California, but uh, swim season's over, uh, school is starting next week. We got soccer starting for the kids, and so we've had a couple of, of cooler days sprinkled in there, so I'm starting to sense a little turn of the seasons. Um, so hopefully that'll create a, more of a routine for me to, to practice and, and improve, but I wanted to just speak briefly before getting into today's game on uh, a few days back when I, when I got so frustrated with with losing that I threatened to quit. And I, I, I tried to go back through and respond to all the comments who had um, that had um, provided words of encouragement and, and, and challenged me to keep going. Um, I think uh, no journey would be uh, complete without its ups and downs and thoughts of quitting. But I think the most important thing for me right now is to, to not quit. And just to keep going. So, for those of you who who did offer their words of encouragement, thank you. And um, yeah, I'll I'll just keep going. Let's see who I'm playing today. Nth times the charm, ninth times the charm out of Brazil. You'll notice I am playing a 15 minute, 10 second increment game today. We've got the Karo Khan. Yeah, I haven't, I don't know if I've seen that move quite yet. I know this is the one that I usually see with the uh, G Knight coming out to F6. And so I'm going to be focusing on all the principles, hopefully, um, developing before attacking. Try to control the center here. Castle early. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get my bishop out here. this night, but I don't see it. Oh, I guess I could come here. Is my position better for that? May I think so. Because then I won't have to break up these pawns in case I want to castle that way. But it did force me to move the same piece twice in the opening, which is against the rules here. Um, let's retreat this back. I don't want to trade my bishop for a knight. And then I will castle. Ninth times the charm, rated 1463 out of Brazil here. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna take that. I'm going to possibly defend it. With bishop to e3, helping with my development. Get the queen up, connect the rooks. Get rooks on open file. Or half open file here. Maybe a half open file here. Okay, 
so now we've got my knight under attack here. So I think I will move it. To where is the question though? So if I come here, it's easily kicked out. Could retreat it here, but then it's stacked twice. So if I jump up here and they take and take, then I'm attacking this. Or do I defend with just queen over to e2? over on the d1 square across from their queen and then eventually do something like that. So if this, yeah, I think, I think I might do that. How are we doing on time? Oh, wow. Wow, 14 and a half minutes and move 14. Seems like I have an eternity to play. All right, so they've got this attack here now. So now they can attack this knight. If I recapture, then they can come in here. So if I take this now, I'm attacking this, so they'd have to... Or I could block it here. If I block it, and then they take... What are they going to do? Dig, dig, dig. And they're going to be up upon. So I don't know if I want to sacrifice. this pawn, but that goes against the principle there. Take, take, take. But then I could push this. this one it's probably I'm gonna go come back to this one in the analysis for sure because
Still gotta <coughs> activate my rooks here. Let's see. Come here, pin the knight. I lose my defender here, but takes, takes. I've got this diagonal all the way. But I think this actually f might force them to retreat their bishop back, which would be good. Otherwise, I'm taking and open up there. Yeah. Okay. Now, what can I do here? I've got this little diagonal, which could be a good discovered attack. for that. set up like this take oh yeah and take take let's see like this So now I do have the discovered attack here. So I trade a knight and a bishop for a rook. I think that's an okay trade. Now take, take, check, take. 
come in here right now. Threatening mate. So they'd have to do in there. Let's see if I take this first. Or do I take it now? Take, take, check, and go back. I think I have the advantage, so I don't know if I would need to, if I want to trade. This move, and then this, and then I take, I can add another tiger in that area. It's a tricky one, folks. It's a tricky one. Is there another way to attack that? Because I can kick this knight away, and if I've got somebody attacking that, Okay, I gotta make a move here. Um... spend three and a half minutes on that move <laughs> so there's a big chunk of my time that's gone Start pushing this pawn now. No, 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 no. Here, no, it's a queen. If I were to push this pawn. What are they going to do? 
this. definitely the next move. Um, I could come here, take, 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 take. I think I'm losing this pawn. Tick, tick, here. Let me just do this. Okay. I think I go. I gotta defend against this diagonal. So I think maybe rook d2 would then allow me to push this, having blocked this, prevent the knight from coming in here, but it weakens the king. doing this exercise um, but I think that's the only oh this isn't so gnarly I don't want to do that but if I move this it's mate That's my only way to really defend it. This is so bad. All right. What can I do here? I gotta do better. Maybe get my king over here off this diagonal. All right, but still, they've got this attack.
minutes and 46 seconds compared to 10 minutes on my opponent's clock. Even in longer time controls, I'm struggling with, with time management. Okay, they're coming in here. Not sure what that move does though. and then this. even I don't know what to do. I had to make a move. Mm. They won on that exchange for sure. Ah, I didn't see that. Yeah, now they're just gonna exchange pieces. <sighs> I'll put this. 
guess my trip the the night if you don't move that night oh they do move the night Is there, a, is there a way for me here? I don't know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a tough one. Nah, <laughs> they got me. Good game, nine times the charm. All right, day 468 in the books. Even with the longer time time uh, allotment, found myself in, in time trouble. I had two blunders and five mistakes. My opponent had zero blunders, zero mistakes, but six misses. <clears throat> Let's see where these were. Karakan. Standard opening here. Um, yeah. So that's the first thing that I called myself out on was moving the same piece twice in the opening. Um, I was worried that they would take and I'd have to break up my pawn structure on this side, but I think if I had to do it again, I might uh, either pin the knight, which is an excellent move, or develop which is a good move, or here, which is a good move. And if I were to have gone this and they would have taken, I could take back with the H pawn and get the open file, which isn't bad, especially if they castle king side. So then this would, would actually be good for me. Okay. Yeah, well, I knew I knew it was, the, I knew it was, I knew something was off with that move, um, but I still made it. So I retreat, best move, castle, best move, best move, okay, yep, yep, okay, and there's a blunder, moving. One of the pawns in front of my king was a, was a bad idea, um, but in my head, I was thinking, they've got this take, so... After that, they'd have this and with check. So I don't want that. So how do I block this from taking and preventing the check? In my head, that was the that was the move to make. <sighs> Let's see. Actually, I want to see this. What is the best move here? Oops. Oh, come on. All right, it wasn't that. It was to take there. But then can they still come down here? And then I take, and then they take, and then I go here. Bishop e5. I 
I guess it would just my king would be exposed, but they'd have to retreat. It would be an even game anyways. Yeah. I guess that was the only way, because then they'd be attacking this, and then I'd attack their queen. They'd take back. I'd have bishop pair, but they'd take here. Wait, no. Would they take that, or would they take here? Oh, duh. Yeah, they take back here. And then I would block this. Okay, and I guess I'd, it'd be hard for them to get any of these pieces over on this side of the board to throw in checks because the king is castled over there. And so it might actually make sense for me to, I don't know, maybe reposition things to get, you know, an attack going here. Okay, cool. Um, so I make that blunder, and they miss. They could have uh, pushed there and trapped my, my bishop, so I didn't see that at all. Uh, but I moved my bishop, and they could have done the same thing. So I think by taking this prevents the, um, the trapping. So they probably wanted me to do it again, yep. And they probably wanted me to do it again, yep. And they could have pushed, yep. Okay, so they, they missed trapping my bishop a lot, as did I. I missed them trapping it. Um, here's a miss that let the game get even again, but I should have taken first. What was I thinking here? Um, I was thinking of, of along the lines of if they were to move this knight, they'd have an attack on on my queen or my, my rook. Okay. All right, take, take. And then this blunder. The blunder because they could have gone queen c6, which that's the reason why I made this move. <laughs> it's because I saw queen c6 coming. Uh, and at the time I thought after queen c6, then I'd go here, which would have Yeah, which would have been a good move at the time, but they would have just had this. And then if I would have moved my king, then they would have had this. Okay. Man, didn't think that one through enough. Well... I spent enough time thinking it through, but I got in a position where I needed to uh, make a move. So this is just slow calculating. Uh, they kick my knight. A better place for it would have been h3. Yeah. Okay, that was the best move at the time, but it's not one that I wanted to make. And then after this miss... I had a great move here, which I actually am winning in this position. And um, with enough time, I probably could have calculated that after takes, I, oops, that after takes, instead of taking with the rook, I could have taken with the knight, discovered attack on the, on the knight over here. And defended my knight, my bishop with the with the knight. So, again, fifteen minute game that chalked it up to not being able to calculate fast enough. Then um, the rest is just them 
taking pieces off the board until they found the uh, the fork. All right, there you have it, folks. Day 468. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.